Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have an XFX Merc RX 6800 XT uh, which is not getting detected on a computer. So we can see that it's still sealed so which is a good sign and uh, it's easier. So when someone, no one has worked on it, it makes my job a lot easier. Okay, so let's start with the measurements. Uh, let's do the resistance check. So on the 12 volts PCIe and uh, we have kilo ohms and rising. Let's take a look at 3.3 volts and we have kilo ohms and rising. Let's take a look at both the 8 pin. Sorry, there you go. And we have kilo ohms and rising. Let's take a look at the second one. And again, we have kilo ohms and rising. So uh, our resistances are good. Let's take a look at the diode reading. So let's take a look at the first pair. That's the data pair. And we are fine. Let's take a look at PEX reset. We are good here. Reference clock plus and reference clock minus is good. Okay, so let's put this card on the test bench and take a look from there. Okay, the card is on the bench. Let's put the card up. And you can see there's nothing happening. So there's no fan spin, no nothing. The card is not getting detected at all. Okay, so I've taken off the cooler. Uh, now, the XFX 6800 XT, uh, the version 1 of uh, XFX, they have a very particular or a very unique fault uh, that's at the back here. So let's switch over. Let me put this under microscope in that area there. I'll just switch over to the microscope. I want to show you. It's, it's a very common fault that is known with the, the first version 1 of the XFX 6800 and that's this resistor here. Okay, so it, this resistor connects to the SOC rail and uh, which supplies 12 volts to the uh, SOC chip and uh, this uh, resistor is known to get burnt. Okay, so let's take a look, let's measure it. It is supposed to be 0 ohms. And if I measure, you can see it's about 1.3K, so which is way above uh, what it's supposed to be, so which is not normal and uh, you know we will have to replace it. Let's take a look at it again, it's one, now it's 1.2, so it's just fluctuating, it's, it's more than 1.3K uh, or 1.29K uh, and let's get this replaced.
Okay, so uh, the resistor has been replaced. Let's take a look at some resistance. Uh, we'll do it all over again. So starting with the 12 volts uh, supply, let's take a look at the inductors here. And we have about kilo ohms and rising, which is good. Let's take a look at the second pin. Again, it's kilo ohm and rising. Let's check the uh, 12 volts PCIe. Again, it's kilo ohm and rising. The 5 volts is again 6 kilo ohms. And let's take a look at the, uh, I think it's the controller. 0 0.7 volts. Both are looking fine. Let's take a look at memory. Memory is also good. So all, all the inductors are showing good acceptable resistance because we have Samsung. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the inductor, the core, and it's fine. Okay, let's find the uh, SOC, the one where that resistor connects. Let me just clean off the the dirt that's there on top of it so I can read the chip. It's an SIC. So that's the chip. That's the SOC rail. And uh, let's take a look at the reading here. It should be about 2 ohms. And we have about two ohms. Okay, let me show it to you again. Two ohms. So our SOC is fine. Uh, so this card should get detected. Let's quickly put this on the bench and let's see if we can, uh, you know, boot it from there. So the card is on the bench now and uh, let's boot it up. The card is detected. Do we have a picture? Yes. So uh, we have a picture. Uh, I'll quickly turn this one off and uh, quickly assemble this card. So the card has been cleaned and uh, assembled and uh, so I'm going to put this back on the bench and boot into Windows and stress test this card just to make sure this card is stable. Let me switch you over. So the card is on the bench and uh, let's put into Windows. Booting into Windows now. Okay, so let me quickly open up Tech Power Up. I will also open up uh, the AMD software. Okay, so the drivers have loaded fine. The software is uh, showing all the sensors. Okay, let's open up uh, Fermark as well.
Okay, so uh, this is a fix for this particular card. Uh, I will stress test it for the uh, for at least another hour or so and see if the card is stable. Uh, but uh, this is a very common problem that is found in the XFX uh, version one. Uh, XFX has fixed this in the later later cards that they released, but uh, this uh, this card is still you know it's still available. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you like it, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment. I do make sure that I respond to every comment uh, on this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.